guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm back today with part three of my completed coloring pages and coloring book collection video. Whew. Today, we are doing a majority of shelf number one in, on my bookcase, and then our final episode is going to be the oversized books, the new books, and my favorites that are on my coloring cart. So that's something to look forward to, but for now... We have a big old stack, and we're just gonna get right into it. Up top, I have Color by Number Animal Stencils by Sun Life Drawing. This is Color by Number. Half the pages in this book are black background, and half of them are not. I'm showing you all the bonus ones, so black background, white background. Oh, there we go, okay. So, I think, yeah, that first one is actually a page I did last night, so I'm going to save that for my monthly wrap-up. This is the Snail. I have been doing these with Statler dual tip markers. They're water-based markers that I actually had two sets of. So one set I just taped and put the numbers on there because as far as I know, all Sun Life Drawing uses the same color code, which is super useful. And then they just tell you which ones you need on that side. So there is my Snail. Then I have the elephant. And then I have these lizards. So, I'm, and I did one more that you'll see in my monthly wrap up. But this book is fun. I think I actually got this as a birthday gift last year. I'm very, very lucky that my friends and family definitely enable me and support my habits. And I get a lot of books as gifts. Okay. Fairy Miracles. This is the only Clara Markova I have. I really want the newest one, Celebrations, right? Or isn't there an even newer one coming out? I don't know. I love seasonal stuff. But as you'll see, the nicer the book, the less I've done in it because of fear. So I don't have much done in here. I tried to do the cover, like, nameplate page and stopped. I don't know if I just didn't like the color combos I was going for. I always feel like in these books I have to try the hardest and then that scares me being a lazy colorist. So I try really hard on all these flowers, try pretty hard on those flowers and then I stopped. I, I did do this one, this one was good. I think I did this last year for a mermaid color along of some sort. I used glitter that I don't know if you can tell. You can see that it's there a little bit. And I think I used chalk pastels in the background and then Prismacolors. And then I started this one and also have not finished that. But as you can see, I did a lot of shading on that tiny bit of pumpkin. So we'll see, hopefully we'll get that done later this year. Next up, I have two Hannah Carls on books and I don't know if I have any pages done in them. So I have Spirit Animals. Do I have, is this the one I did? Oh, I did do this the other day. Basically I had seen a tip that if you mix your acrylic paint with gesso, it makes it smoother. And I wanted to see if that was true in coloring books and not just on canvas, but not really. You can still see a lot of streaks. The lighter the color you use, I always tend to have more streaking. So I think it's fine. If anything, I can deal with it later when I actually color it, or who knows what I'm going to. I know that is a work in progress in here. I wanted to go for like a neon candy lady, and then I did finish that one, and I don't know why I didn't tab it. But this was my first attempt at covering the black lines. Didn't go great, I don't know. I just did a lot of layers, and now you really can't see the lines at all. It's all glitter that I covered it in, but at least it's something done in this book. I think this one was a gift from Sam. I know this one was a gift from Sam, and I know I don't have anything done in it, which is Hannah Carl's on Seasons. I love seasonal things, all seasonal things. So I did start this. I attempted to use my chalk pastels and do a background with a stencil. This was the first time I did a lot of those things, but that's as far as I got for now. So <laughs> we'll come back to that, I hope. Okay, next, also from Samuel, Wild Tessellations. This is a creative haven. I've done nothing in here, but it's all Wild Tessellations. For a while, I was expecting to get into pattern books, so I asked for some pattern books, and then now I've done nothing in it yet. So, of course, 
Another one that's empty, Creative Haven Mandala Color by Number. Um, got this as a gift too. Nothing done in it yet. A lot. Some of these are simpler and some of these are more intense with their coloring books. The key, I'm pretty sure, hold on, is all in the front. So it's the same for every picture, but you have to consult this. So can you, I don't even know. It's very light line work. So some of it is definitely more intense than others. I'm sorry if you cannot see that at all. Next up, another empty one. <laughs> Geometric Mandala Coloring Book by Jade Summer. So this is my first Jade Summer Mandala book, but basically I had gotten the Camellia Angelkova books and the one that was 101 Unique Mandalas, I was really enjoying doing the geometric ones. So I thought I would give a specifically geometric one a try. I don't love how these look, so we'll see how it goes. But with Camellia Angelkovas, it's like they don't necessarily all build off each other. So you don't have to color the entire thing, if that makes any sense to anybody. But these, all the shapes build off each other. So I feel like the whole thing is gonna get co colored and we'll see. I don't know, I do not know. Um, I also have gotten Sam to agree to try one of these with me. So that should be fun, but otherwise, I definitely got this like when it was first coming out. So it was probably like four or five dollars. So it's, it's okay. Sometimes we get some duds. I'll just pass it off to somebody if I really never use it. Next up is Chibi Girls Horror. I was really hoping this would come out in grayscale, but it has not yet. So I just ended up getting it. I finished one in here. I'm really hoping they come out with a Chibi Girls Holiday. That would be great. But I finished this page, which is the Girl of the Piranhas. I used a bunch of glitter pens, which I think you can kind of tell, I hope. So their eyes and tongue are glitter. She has just glitter accents all over her. A lot of the water is glitter. But I really like these books. I kind of like it in grayscale even more. But I gotta take what we can, what we get. Did my lighting just change? That's weird. Um, I guess the sun came out. But there we go there. Okay. This one I got as a gift for my birthday, but I actually got this on Facebook. I'm in a reading group, like, um, with monthly reading challenges, and for birthdays you're allowed to post your wish list, and a few people got me gifts, including this coloring book, which was kind of cool, because my wish list is half coloring books, half reading books. So this is Whimsical World number four, Fairies, Mermaids, Animals, Flowers, and Cuteness Galore, adult coloring book for the young at heart by Molly Harrison. That is a mouthful. And I did this page recently. This might have been in my last color wrap up. But I used the Faber-Castell Artist Pit Pens for this one. So I think it's really cute. So I like that. We'll see what we do next in here. But this is a very cutesy book with different levels of difficulty also. Okay, another gift. Apparently this is just my gift shelf. So I got Watercolor Decor Coloring Book, Volume 4 by Prima Marketing. So this is artist grade watercolor paper and I was really excited to try this because I really want to work on my watercolor skills. I'm okay with watercolor, but I'm really not okay with making things look watercolor. I'm okay with coloring it solid. So all I've done in here so far is that. That is it. And I did this a few days ago actually. So I definitely have work to do in here. Um, these are, oh, that's Sam sitting down, it's okay. These are top loading and I actually, they're super, super thick. I gave a few of these to my friend who's also trying to do watercolor and because there's a bunch of bird ones and I don't like birds, but he does. So I gave him some to t try with me, but obviously that's volume four. So there's more of those. I'm pretty sure they're kind of old at this point. Let me see, let's come back and check. Copyright 2016. So Prima also makes the watercolors that I like to use, which is nice, which is why I thought they'd be a good pair, but um, they should still be on Amazon. Okay, this is a lot of index cards in here. Fairy Shampoo. This is the book that brought me back into adult coloring. I've been a color my whole life. I've just always loved it, but obviously I was stuck doing either kids coloring books or Creative Haven and Dover had always been around. So when adult coloring became popular, I was super excited and I was ready, but I kind of hated everything that was out because I feel like the initial wave was just 
essentially like zen doodle style and like incredibly tiny details or like all flowers like I had a few Joanna Bassfords but I wasn't really into them so I saw a haul and somebody showed this book I made Samuel take me to Barnes and Noble that day and I bought this book right up and I loved it a lot so these are some of my very first colorings so this was the first one I did. I just did the first page. I really love doing fairies and things like that because you don't really have to worry about what colors everything is. I think I've mentioned before that sometimes I have a hard time coloring things weird colors. So I'm never going to color. Well, I'm trying more, but initially I would never color leaves purple. Leaves would always be green. So I've done a bunch of fairies in here. This is a really fun book. So. I definitely showed these two in my wrap up for the last month. So it's definitely linked in my last wrap up video. And this is actually the first book that I would look up Pinterest color palettes for. So that's pretty cool. And now that's what I do for mandalas a lot. Some of them, the palettes work better than others, but I'm pretty sure every single one of these is just Prismacolors because again, this was very back in the beginning and that is all that I had. And then even later ones, I, I hate this one. I don't know. I was trying to go for some cool rainbow and it just, it did not work out. I do not like it. And on the other hand, this is one of my favorites. I don't know what it is about it, but I love it. Um, as you can see, I don't even worry about blending that hard. It is very one coat. Ooh, that one I did love a lot. I did end up eventually using a silver metallic for their eyeballs usually, and apparently some details. So this was my attempt at like fire and ice, and I thought that one looks really cool. Oh, I really like that one too. So as you can see, a lot of it is like natural, like flower style but it's all their hair that's pretty cool also I feel like is that thunder Sam's not sure I think it's thunder so I don't really understand the difference between the chapters to be honest with you but this one's a little bit crazy yeah so I've done a ton in here at one point I was like I'm gonna finish this book but I don't know about that. This one was my Christmas tree. This one I actually did a color and chat on and I think I was attempting to do just one color. So it was monochromatic with one pop of color. We're almost at the end. This one reminded me of Alice in Wonderland and like the flower she talks to. So that was the vibes for that. This one apparently started and never finished. And finally the pineapple. I tried a lot on that one. I did do some blending on that one. And then what's cool about this book is it has like a table of contents at the back. So I just highlighted which ones I have finished. Apparently there are 83 fairies in there. So that is a really good deal. And I would check Amazon for this one if you're interested. Okay, next up, this is Bunny Girl. Um, this is a Japanese coloring book that Samuel got me for our anniversary because it's paper anniversary. Not colored anything in here because it's too pretty. So there's that, but I'll just do a quick little flip. He got it off 70 East books and I'm pretty sure he just typed in Bunny Girl. Well, I had given him like a list of ones I liked because I had wanted this for a long, long time. It is so cute, the bunnies. Oh, one day I will color in here, but I'm just like afraid to ruin it, of course, which is probably silly, but who knows? Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Oh, so cute. So next up, I don't know if I'm gonna flip through this again. This is Baby Dragons by Jade Summer. This is the book that my husband and I just did the split coloring in. And I have a whole video on my flip through this, so I'm sorry if I, you feel cheated, but I'll link it above in case you want to watch it. But I think there are 25 dragons in here, and we did them all. And I did this side, he did that side. We're doing split coloring on new books now, which you'll see in the next part. 
And yeah, that was a fun one. So I highly recommend split coloring. It's a lot of fun, especially being stuck in quarantine, whatever, having extra time. Obviously we have so many coloring books. So if you have anyone to share with, I recommend it. Okay. Mosaic Mandalas by the Color by Number by Sun Life Drawing. This is actually my second copy of this. I had purchased this to bring on our cruise and I was doing them in order and then it got waterlogged. I was very disappointed. So I bought a second copy. So in this new copy, I am not very far. Apparently I am four pages in or five. I'm on page five. So I think I had done at least 10 in the last one. So it's kind of unfortunate but it was not great looking anymore. But luckily these books are cost effective. And of course now I do have the second copy still. And it really just like, these are water-based markers so they all ran, but it would also be another good one to share if I ever like babysit or anything like that because they're still there and kids don't mind as much as I do. So. Whew. Next up is Fairies by Christine Karen. These books are gorgeous and I don't, Know how to do them they're grayscale or i buy the grayscale version there are ones that are not grayscale but the paper in here is weird it's printed by amazon but it's like a textured like a smoother paper like glossier so i did this one with prismacolors but like i pressed really hard and if it wasn't for grayscale i don't know what would have happened and it's very like i don't really understand how i was supposed to do it because the background is near black so I didn't know what I was supposed to color over. So I did a little bit of dark green on this side and then I kind of just ignored the background over there. So this is the Rowan Tree Fairy. So I looked up what those berries looked like and tried to match them. But the images in here are beautiful and people who know how to use this book do some beautiful work. Okay, next up, another birthday gift, but this was the year before, I think. Hippie Animals by Design Originals. The Nia McArdle, hopefully, Coloring is Fun series. We got this at Michael's at the time. Um, I bought this book to do this page. I think that is the funniest snake. I love him a lot. But instead, I have finished two pages so far. This one, I actually have a coloring chat on my channel. There is a ton of glitter gel pen that I don't know if you can tell. The yellow is glitter. This orange is glitter. This orange, oh, that's the same. It just is like an optical illusion. This blue is a whole ton, a ton of glitter. And then I also did this page, this cool guy. I used the Derwent Ink Tents for this, so it's very crinkly. Um, some of the pages have little inspo at the bottom, so I did try to copy it for this one just for fun. I do like doing that. It's like a color by number, but a little bit harder because you do have to color match on your own. So, and I, again, with the Derwent, I tried to do a little bit of shading, but I'm still not great at that. So, there's that. We are more than halfway through, so we're getting there. 50 Spiral Mandalas. This is another Camellia Angelkova book. Um, I bought this one when I had loved the other two so much, but this one is much more detailed. Uh, and it's kind of hard to do because I use my... What are those called? Alcohol markers and they bleed. So I have only done one page in here so far, which is this one. I don't even remember if I ended up using my alcohol markers or if I used something else. It looks like alcohol markers. Yeah, I love the way the back looks to be honest with you, almost more than the front. So that's the only page I've done there so far, but I'm glad to have it and I'll keep doing them. When the, when the, inspo strikes I don't, know. I don't know what i was going to say okay another well this one is ronnie c pios but it's another julia rivers book that i didn't realize was separated from the others fairy tale doodle adventures another gift this was a previous year christmas from my aunt though and i didn't realize i had done another page in this style but i have so this book is very doodly and a lot of it is um disney princess inspired Disney tale inspired, obviously a lot of just fairy tales, but it's pretty specifically the Disney version of them. But they're so, so doodly that I decided to use only glitter gel pen and I just outlined each item. I think this looks super cool. I really enjoy how this came out and hopefully I'll do more of that in this book. And then I did do another one where I actually colored it all in and obviously it's a lot busier 
and I don't know how to make it look any more cohesive than this. So this is what you get. I do still like it, like it was still a fun one, but overall it's one of the less doodly ones, which is why I picked it to try out. Like some of these are so doodly, but two in there. Okay, next up it is Fadorable Sweet and Simple by Selena Fennick. I have done a ton in here. This, this book also has doubles, but I actually use this one to test new mediums, really. So let's just get into it. <clears throat> this I used markers. I want to say my Tombow markers. So I had a limited color selection. I only have two packs. I did some color pencils. They have the names over there, which is nice. This was my first attempt at my Derwent Ink Tents. So this book is very crinkly. This is more Prismacolor pencils. Ah, this was a video with Samuel and I where we both colored. Before I thought of split coloring, we tried to both color the same page. It's actually a fun one. Hopefully I'll remember to link it, but you can um, see he sat on one side of the desk, I sat on the other, and we didn't look, but the camera could see. So, interesting. And this is Prismacolor pencils. I did do a lot of just Prismacolors, I will admit. Okay, this one is my glitter metallic water colors. So it's from Michaels and it was like $5, but every single one is metallic. So this is a whole lot of shimmer. I don't know if I would ever do a whole page in it again, but it's definitely fun for a unicorn on a rainbow page. Prismacolor pencils. I hope I'm not going too fast, but I don't know. Okay, this was all metallic gel pen. I just had gotten like a five pack for writing Christmas cards and I used it for a full page of this. That was for a challenge of some sort, I don't remember. Uh huh. Markers for almost everything and then I tried a chalk background. Mm, medium, medium. And then that is it in that book. So I have done a whole bunch of those, which is nice. It will be interesting. This might be one that I actually do the doubles in and see either if I got better at those particular mediums or if I just try different things. I like trying things in here. I'm actually standing. I'm going to sit down and hope that everything goes well still. So I just feel like you can hear me wiggling back and forth. So... Mm, I'm super scared that it's not going to be in camera though. Okay. Miss Wa Shades of Kawaii, a cute coloring book. I think there are three volumes of this. I got this. Can you guess? As a gift. <laughs> so I have done one page in here and it is this weird page. Uh, that's it. This was also Prismacolor pencils. At this point, I hadn't used my Prismacolors in a really long time. So I was like, let's give it another shot. But this has a whole bunch of cute doodly guys in here. And I almost considered this another pattern book when I thought I would be getting into patterns. So this is a cute one. I have to stand. Ugh. I just, we were also in our like little swimming pool outside. It's just a wading pool really, but it's big enough for Sam and I to lay down in. And I'm still in my swimsuit. I just wanted to get this filming done while I had time. So... <laughs> Okay, another gift from Sam, Mermaids in Paradise by Denise Colette, Coletti, I don't know. I've only done one in here so far and it was this lady and you're not gonna be able to tell, I don't think, but I actually use Shimmer Spray, uh, the Heidi Swap Spray from Scrapbooking. So I don't know if it went as well I wanted it to. I tried to use like post-its to color her, but you can very see the, the lines or at least I can in person. And then it got all over her anyway, so I don't know what I was doing, but it was definitely fun to try out. And I'm pretty intimidated by this book for no reason, so maybe we'll get into some of these while it's still summer. Next, this gift. <laughs> this is after I got dental surgery. My dad got me this one, but Minuet de Bonaire. I have not done anything in here. Very intimidating, very pretty. I think the other thing is the prettier that they look on Instagram, the less likely I am to do it because I've seen some amazing things from this book. So, haven't done it yet. Seems like there's a lot of fruit in here though and I love fruit pictures, so. Okay, the final two for this video, we've made it. Anamorphia by Kirby Rosanis. I haven't done anything in here. I actually got this at Book Outlet 
after I had gotten the first one. So it is very detailed. I don't know if I'll ever do anything in here. I know that. Now I'm not going to remember names. So I'm just going to ignore the names and assume you'll know. I apologize if this person thinks of and sees this and sees I didn't remember their name. But somebody paints all the backgrounds in paint. Also, of course, the dog. One book to go. She can't make it. Okay, hopefully right she's done. But the colors I'm thinking of does an acrylic wash and she did it for like every single background and I'm kind of very intrigued by that idea and I think it would just be fun to like paint all the backgrounds and maybe ignore everything else. We will see but that's that one and the final book is essentially the second book that got me back into adult coloring, Mythomorphia. I have a whole bunch of this book done. I was really hoping to finish this but then I started collecting much harder and just got more and more and more and kind of this one got pushed to the wayside. I have done this whole book in watercolor paint. It was actually the Kurataki paints. I don't know if there's a more specific name for that. But yeah, I've done a whole bunch of these. Almost every page, at least half the pages. So I do not go as hard as some people go in these books. I know I don't. But it's definitely fun to use my watercolors. This is one of my favorites. This was actually like my personal wallpaper for Facebook for a while when I did it. Love the gnomes. This is a really pretty one. I don't really have much to say about these because I used all the same medium. I'm just gonna quietly flip. This is the first one I did in this book and with those watercolors, so I really like it a lot. It's really easy to do the watercolors in here because his style kind of tells you where to put shadows and things like that. As you're probably hearing, this book is very crinkly and it's very big. I'll show you the profile when we're done flipping. This is my attempt at a background. That did not work. I did not have Kirby to help me there. This was an intense one too. I, again, like this because mythical creatures can really be any color you want, and I enjoy that. So, obviously, tree ones stayed more tree colored, but we mixed it up as much as we could. I do not remember what everything is off the top of my head, but there's a list in the back telling you what they are, which is nice. I think I was going to go for fire and ice for this, or fire and water, it looks like. But I've only done that half so far. I don't know if I love this one. I really went for it with weird colors, so I don't know. My Phoenix. I was pretty proud of this one that it was like an ombre. That was a fun one, my Medusa. Another early page. These ladies. Again, I was just trying to go for some not repeat colors this guy. <laughs> I really enjoyed these guys too. The goblins. Do not enjoy this guy. I am not afraid of, afraid of birds. A fan of birds. Yikes. Harpy. Cyclops. And finally my mer people. So I kind of did it Ariel inspired and then this one was kind of leaning towards flounder with the blue and the yellow but then I did their skin both green to tie them together as merfolk so that was my idea there so that is that one again I have done a whole heckin ton of this book which I'm pretty proud of so got my money's worth but yes if you see he's he's thick now <laughs> And that's actually my last book. So we almost made it without a noodle interruption. So close. After this, I have one part left and then I'll be done showing you all of my books. I was going to film it right away and then just post it later, but I realized I have three books coming in the mail tomorrow. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna wait. We will see. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hopefully you stuck it out to the end. If you stuck it out in the end, maybe tell me your favorite page out of this book. 
because that proves you made it here. So <laughs> hopefully that's not too obnoxious. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I've gotten a whole ton of new subscribers. If you're not subscribed yet, but you want to be, you should down below. Yeah, yeah. And um, my next video will be out soon. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.